Okay, and in this video, uh, we will discuss professions and which ones you should focus on. First of all, before choosing which professions to do, we have to establish the most important items you can craft. Luckily, all of the important items are in only two professions, so it will save you quite a bit of time compared to leveling them all equally. Okay, and the first step to start with are uh, the very first upgrades to your account. Uh, there are two different kinds of items you will want to craft, and both of them are unlocked at Alchemy level 3, uh, this is the first skill I recommend pushing for as it will cover a lot of early game progress. Uh, the first item type will be gems, uh, there are a total of 5 upgrade items for various uh, gear in the game, uh, but the gems are by far the most important one and there are 3 reasons why. Uh, first of all, uh, these gems, so the ones you see here. Uh, they affect multiple units at once, compared to other items that only affect your summoner or only one of the units. Uh, second of all, they can be removed and reused on any other equipment. And third of all, uh, level 3 alchemy already unlocks blue tier gems. And the gems, just like much of the other equipment, uh, have three different types. Uh, they are red types, blue types and green ones. Uh, the gems uh, are for offensive stats like attack, crit rate and crit damage. Uh, blue ones are for defensive stats like HP and defense. And the green ones are for utility stats, uh, stuff like attack speed, accuracy, resistance, precision and evasion. With the blue tier gems unlocked, uh, you can start crafting the required gems and getting the values that you need. Uh, for stats like uh, red gems, you should have uh, attack percent or crit damage percent. For blue ones, uh, I recommend focusing on HP% percent or defense percent, and for green ones, uh, those honestly depend on the stats you are missing the most. I personally prefer attack speed on mine, uh, as it directly sort of increases damage by a lot. Uh, and you will need a total of 6 gems for each color, so one of each color piece for each piece of equipment. Uh, you can equip these gems on all 5 weapons, as well as your summoner weapon, which you can see right here so yeah five weapons and the summoner a uh, sub weapon and another great thing about gems is their effects work even if the weapon is not currently equipped so for the weapon you are currently equipped with the gems will give a uh, 100% of the power as written so for me i currently have the fire one equipped and i'm getting a uh, 6.8% crit damage 5.4% hp and 4% attack speed on all my monsters on the field and for gems that are on other weapons, they will still provide 25% of the gem power. Meaning that, for example, if we look at the water weapon, uh, for example, it has 5.4% HP. That means uh, my monsters are getting 25% of that, and that's around, uh, what is it, 1.3 to 1.4%. So it is still important to equip uh, gems on all of your weapons. And yes, uh, alchemy is pretty hard to unlock, however, trust me, it's definitely worth it and the stat boost you get from these gems is very important. And now, uh, the great thing about alchemy level 3 is that the second item you will really want is also unlocked at that level. If you scroll all the way down, uh, you will find these three types of energy pieces. Uh, so there's the green one, uh, the red one, and the purple ones unlocked at level 3. Uh, these pieces are used to level up your summoner past level 60 all the way up to level 70. As you can see, my summoner is already at level 70. Uh, crafting these energy pieces is extremely simple. You just need to get 5 pieces of the required color and craft it into the energy piece. Uh, you can see the exact cost of each transcendence through the transcendence menu in your summoner overview. For me, it's maxed, so I can no longer see it, but you will see that there are 5 levels here. And uh, crafting this gem is really cheap uh, you just get these materials from either ruptures or uh, the path of growth and as you can see the recipe is just five pieces of uh, this specific color and once alchemy level 3 is unlocked uh, you can take a big step back from crafting and work on upgrading the rest of your stuff uh, the next upgrades you will need to make will require much higher levels of professions so remember that it will take quite a bit of time, gold and even sky stones for the next upgrades. And yeah, once you're ready to go back to crafting, which I recommend doing, I would say maybe around a week or two after unlocking level 3, because uh, by that point you will have some upgraded gear uh, 
from other sources and you will want to work on unlocking this gear so uh yeah at this point you will have to decide uh, the your preferred method of upgrading uh you will need to reach uh two goals so one of them is alchemy level six or the second one will be blacksmithing level seven and uh, while Alchemy 6 can be uh, unlocked faster, it will require a lot of manual mining and gathering, as well as quite a bit of gold. Uh, while blacksmithing will require a bit less effort, but you will need uh, way more time to get all of the items, since most of them come from dungeons, especially Path of Growth, and since dungeon entries are limited, uh, it will be hard to get them uh, that fast. So basically you just have to choose the skill that you prefer to work towards and slowly move it and just to recap what uh, both of the skills will give so leveling alchemy will allow you to boost your monsters even further with higher tier gems as well as unlock a special item called the skill point book which you can see right here and it will be crafted with five uh, research lock pieces uh, for blacksmithing uh, it will give you access to very high tier weapons uh, and especially the six star weapons which are pretty much the end game weapons at this point as you can see all six star weapons require level 7 blacksmithing uh, the good thing about blacksmithing is it will be easier to unlock uh, work wise however it will take longer to gather all of those materials so you have to choose uh, simply uh, whether you prefer to manually grind it and you can do it in a day maybe I'd say maybe in a few days, but if you really, really want to grind, uh, you could probably do it in a day. Uh, however, for blacksmithing, you can choose to grind slowly, just do a few dungeons a day, do exploration lizard quests, and gather all of the materials that way. And if you decide to level up blacksmithing level 7, uh, the main dungeon that will be your friend during this uh, journey will be the Path of Growth and Subjugation Path. The reason for that is that most blacksmithing, uh, uh, what do you call it? Most blacksmithing uh, promotion requests require you to craft higher tier weapons, and you get these weapons both as drops from the dungeon as well as the ones you weren't able to drop. You can actually just straight up purchase from the token shop right there, and you get these subjugation tokens by simply doing the dungeon. Meaning that even if you are unlucky to drop a specific weapon you need, uh, you will be able to simply buy it using them. This also means that if you have previously found subjugation, even at lower levels, uh, you should save all of your gear because the first upgrades will require, I believe, is it two star or three star items, uh, meaning that all of the gear that you no longer use, I recommend uh, stashing into the storage until you can see which gear is required for the upgrades. And as mentioned earlier, if you do choose to upgrade to alchemy level 6 instead, uh, you will be unlocking higher tier gems. So at level 5, you will unlock the purple tier of the red gem. And at level 6, you will unlock the purple tier of the blue gem. Uh, these two are the most important gems. They will be more important than the green ones, though I'm not recommending rushing level 7, but you will want to work towards it eventually. And the second most important thing uh, you already saw is the skill box. The skill box allow you to level up the skills of your summoner, meaning that once you craft these books, uh, you can go into your inventory, use those books. As you can see, I have four right now. I just acquired four skill points and these skill points can be spent on the skill tree. I'm currently at around uh, almost 1,500. And as you can see, my skills uh, the passive tree is fully maxed, the utility is fully maxed, uh, my active skills are missing an upgrade each and the ultimate is missing two upgrades, and the elemental tree which I really don't care much about because first of all it only affects one element and second of all it's extremely expensive. Uh, so yeah, those are not upgraded too much but as you can see at 1500 my skills, my, at least the most important skills are pretty much maxed out. And while yes, uh, you may be wondering uh, why wouldn't I just unlock the skill books through the cooking part of the recipe uh, as it's clearly a bit cheaper at level 4. Uh, the reason for that is that the price compared uh, to the uh, recipe in Alchemy 6 is way way more expensive uh, than the one in the level 5 and eventually you will need to craft thousands of these books. So. If you start crafting uh, these books in thousands for this recipe, 
uh, trust me you will lose on a lot of materials these uh, while they can be both bought in the auction and from the lizard mage queue they are pretty there and they do go for quite a bit in the shop as well as these enchantment shards uh, they will be useful for upgrading your summoner items so i don't recommend uh, blowing through them their price is also super high uh, due to the announced upgrades they were sitting at like 500 now they're close to 5000 so yeah definitely don't waste uh, your materials on this book i'm not even mentioning the fact that it also requires one additional lock piece to craft the book so yeah it's definitely not worth it and it's better to just stock up and wait even if you have thousands of those skill pieces because as soon as you unlock uh, the recipe in alchemy level 6 you will be able to craft a bunch of them way cheaper and uh the skill points you upgrade then will put way way more use for you and lastly uh you will notice that while crafting uh recipes in the alchemy tree or in the blacksmithing tree uh, you will need some defined materials meaning that those materials will have to be uh, either bought directly from the store or you will need to craft them yourself and if you do end up making the whole thing yourself which i actually recommend uh, you will also need to level up processing as some of the materials are unlocked in the processing tree for example i know these will be used for alchemy i believe so yeah eventually you will need to uh level up your processing as well however trust me processing leveling processing is pretty simple and it's very similar to alchemy actually uh, you don't need to wait for a specific dungeon or anything like that you will simply have to mine a lot of raw materials and basically craft a lot of these purified as most of the uh promotion recipes will simply require various ores ingots and basically stuff that you get from the processing tree and yeah that's about it for the uh coverage of the basic things to know about crafting and the ones that you should focus on and good luck